I've been on top for a while. Now it's not cheaper to the moon. Fast car make going room, room. Take it to the boom, boom, boom. Hey guys, so as you can tell, today I'm going to be installing a wig. I don't know why I did this so early in the morning. Look at me, bruh. Miserable. Mm -hmm. So this wig is actually a 613 body wave wig, but um, it's, it's too blonde. Like, that's a no-no. So we're going to have to fix that. So I decided to dye this wig a combination of like blonde and burgundy. So first we're gonna spray the lace with some hairspray just so that the color doesn't like over bleach the knots too much. So now we're gonna go in with the color. Here I was just mixing it and then we're gonna add our hot water. I decided to use the um, water method to dye this wig. Where I went wrong was I decided to get all my information from TikTok and obviously that wasn't the um, right idea to do. So I had to go back by a different color, the one that everybody be using, the Adore Sienna Brown. And we tried this method again. So this time when I got the Adore brand, it seems to be, you know, working properly. So the whole aim was for me to dye this wig brown, but because of how much water I used, the wig did not come out brown. But that's okay though, because it still looked pretty cute. So now I'm just dipping the water in to see how it comes out, to see if it's like the right color that I want. So we're gonna submerge the wig in the water for 20 minutes. So after it's done like marinating in the water, you're gonna take it out and look at how unevenly this wig is dyed. So ultimately, like I said, because of how much water I put in the bucket, the wig obviously didn't dye properly. But I went back in, I added some more dye, and I tried again for a second round. So what did we learn from this experience? Don't experiment on brand deal wigs, first of all. And second of all, don't use too much water, because if you use too much water, you're not gonna get the results you need. Use minimal amount of water and lots of dye. So just in case y'all couldn't see what I was talking about before, like in the top middle part section of the head, the wig died, but it died like really, really light. So it's kind of like a light pink more so than, or a light brown, more so than like the brown in the front. But initially I was gonna go with the middle part, but because of how much of the pink was showing in the back, and you could tell how uneven it was, I decided that I was gonna go in with the side part instead to try to do a comb over on the back. And it, it turned, okay. <laughs> Ultimately, it turned out pretty good. Yeah, I'm a big dog and I walk around with no leash. I got water on me, yeah, everything on Fiji. Cause any boss, suicide dog, brand new bag. College girls, give a nigga head in my rap. Rockstar life, so much money on me. So after I go ahead and I tint my lace with my foundation and my concealer, I'm gonna spray the hairline with some hairspray just to brush the baby hairs back because it can be really annoying when you like glue down your wig and there's hairs stuck in the glue. So the hairspray kind of prevents that. So now I'm gonna go in and cut off the excess lace because I don't know why they even send it with that much to begin with. So yeah, just go ahead and cut that bit off and then get you some wig glue, label rubbing off and all. And then you're gonna make a nice little line across your forehead. Usually I don't like to put the glue directly on the wig cap because I like my wig caps to last me for like multiple wigs. So I tried to put it in front of the wig cap and then push the glue back a little bit, but not too much. Grace. 
Now you have to absolutely, and when I say absolutely, I mean absolutely, wait for the glue to dry clear. Because if you don't, then there's going to be a whole bunch of white gummy stuff under your wig. And that's not cute, that's ugly in fact. So I'm going to link the glue that I have in my bio. Because one thing I've noticed about glue is that it be taking mad long to dry. And no one has time to wait that long. But this glue dries mad fast and it actually holds. So I'm going to link that in my bio. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and press my wig in with my comb, spray some more hairspray over the lace just for some extra security, and then tie it down with my band. So because of how unprepared I was, I ended up using children's scissors to cut my lace. Um, mm. But that didn't end up working properly. I think I ended up like actually cutting myself. But I found these little like that little eyebrow shaver thing, and I ended up cutting my lace with that. So now when it comes to this eyebrow shaver, I like to put the shaver on the lace part that I want to cut and then lift the lace up so it like cuts in a jagged line. Like you lift the lace up on the blade instead of just cutting straight down and having it like a straight line. It's like, you know, your hairline don't look just boxy and hairline-y, you know? So basically, I'm pretty much done. I know y'all saw a little blonde patch. We're just gonna act like this is a strawberry shortcake wig and keep it pushing. The beauty supply store is tired of seeing me and I'm tired of spending my money there. So, I decided to try heatless curls. So we're gonna see the end product tomorrow. I went ahead and tried to give myself some edges. But I think this is cute. I hated it, but now I kind of like it. So I'm going to see y'all tomorrow when this is like marinated and dried. What is it without me? Don't go do nothing without me. This is a blessing, a shot of a light. I swear my life stories better than stories they telling about me. They got it twisted. Ride the pipe like a bike, make sure you're going the distance. And if he wasn't with it, then why were you with him? Maybe you just had to realize that knowing the difference can make all the difference. Oh. She wanna run me down, I don't know.